and this might be attributed to the difference. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, the agent of the PRP, can you, I'm sorry, PDP, can you please repeat what you said on the basis of the provision of the law? What, uh, I just want to quickly react to the presentation by the chairman on the, we are in this country and the INEC made a press statement. When uploads were not done, you even said there was no hacking of your server and all that. And everyone sitting there is either a Christian or a Muslim. And you know there was a problem with uploading your results. Till this minute I'm speaking, many results have not been uploaded on your server. So you cannot be using justification that it both took place at the polling unit when INEC failed in uploading results from polling units. If you had uploaded those results immediately, after votes was casted in each polling unit, we will have access to them and I will not be asking questions here. But as I speak to you, those results were not uploaded for hours, for hours. Yesterday, I complained to you, the chairman. I complained to two other commissioners. And in my presence, they called um, the wreck in Emo, where even the director of ICT was saying they should use offline to upload. So if results were not uploaded, if results were not uploaded, we as parties cannot be challenged that the process is over. The process is not over because it is faulty, results were not uploaded, and if those results were not uploaded, we are definitely going to contest the authenticity of whatever presentation is being made here. And finally, sir, I want to challenge any returning officer from any state coming here because there's penalty for you if you lie or if you alter anything, tell us before you start your presentation that what you are presenting before cameras, that what you are presenting is what you have, what is uploaded on INEC website. Please say that and see if you have given wrong information, you will not go to jail. Okay. Is there any agent of any party that hasn't spoken? Party agent. Uh, no, 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 not you. The, your party has spoken. Let's give the opportunity to another person. You have also spoken, PRP. Please, please take your seat. Let's, let's make this orderly, in an orderly manner, please. Speak, uh, introduce yourself. Mr. Chairman, I am Chinamelo Uba. I represent APP. I want to align with the submission of the PDP agent. If we take your submission, Chairman, it may seem what we are here for is mere formality as if all has been done at the level of the world local government and state mr chairman if there is difficulty in why what he's saying cannot be done you explain to us maybe we understand but what he's asking for to my mind is very apt we are here as the final collation center either to correct what has been done wrongly, we've had complaints from the world, from the local government, from agents there. If we can upload this year, we serve as a final arbiter, so to say. Thank you, sir. Okay. If we have any um, complaints, um, any documents that you may have, please forward them. But otherwise, we cannot be considering the report from Clara and talking about matters arising from another state. When we come to that state, we'll talk about matters arising from that state. Uh, which party is that, Alex? Alex, uh, Alex go A ahead. ADP. Yes. Uh, I stand before you and the entire world to support what the PDP agent had said. Because before now, Nigerians have waited, you know, with abated palpitation for authenticity of this project, 2023. And the information or the education we had before now is that whatever vote is cast is transmitted upon that time. That is the education we had. 
But we are now hearing a different introduction of some other phrases like beavers by court or whatever language is used for it. So we needed the party, um, the coalition officer from the state, like it has been asserted, for them to do that. Let them prove to us that, yes, at the point of voting, it was transmitted. Secondly, sir, I, I have read and I've seen that even at the point of election, uh, some personalities in this, in this country showed their ballot paper please, for the party they please, voted for. Representative of the ADP. Yes, sir. Please, that is not before us. Yes, I know, but I'm so proactively please, speaking, sir. Please, it's, let, us, let us focus on what is before us. Yes, but the result it, for the election from Quara. Otherwise, I know, sir. This is unending. Allow me to learn, sir. Allow me to learn. Because we are looking at the transparency of the entire system. And if it's the entire system, if somebody shows the party he voted for, that also can be taken as vote buying. And, please, and so we, we have please, to take care Alex, of that, sir. I wish we can confine ourselves to what is before us, consideration of the report from Quara. All right, sir. In, what transpired in summary, I support, I support the move okay. of PDP, sir. So that's, Thank only, you. that's all you wanted to say all this while, just to support. <laughs> okay. Um, the second agent of the AP, uh, PDP, I think. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Emeka Inhedio. Mr. Chairman, I was and I am one of the Nigerians that have absolute confidence in this electoral process. Mr. Chairman, when there were efforts to undermine the authority of INEC, we stood firmly that INEC must be truly independent. Mr. Chairman, we're talking about the transparency of this process. And we're talking about confidence in the process. I had cause, sir, to engage you yesterday. I had cause to speak to your national commissioners yesterday. I had cause to speak to them this morning about coalition and the abuse of the electoral process. Mr. Chairman, as we speak, in a number of states, efforts are still ongoing to undermine that process. Resource sheet, Mr. Chairman. I wish you I'm, can just confine yourself yeah, Mr. Chairman. to what has been presented. Yes, sir. Before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. If Chairman, you are I, talking about what is not before us. This discussion will be an ending. And no, we are sir. not here for an no, ending no, discussion. Sir. Sir, the point we are here I'm for making, collection of results. Mr. Chairman, please, sir. The point I'm making, sir, is that it is clear that there were problems with uploading the results, which is fundamental to where we are. And we are saying it is important that we know that Nigerians are aware that electorates know that the votes they've cast were properly uploaded and it reflects the wishes of the people from polling units. Mr. Chairman, fundamentally, it is clear to us that in the course of coalition, coalition officers and return officers were forced by people who think they are more powerful yes. to return results. And Mr. Chairman, it is important that that is addressed. Former, where people, excuse me, as a former deputy speaker of the Federal Republic, Please speak to what you can present evidence for, not to stand at the National Coalition to be making insinuations. Please, Mr. Resume, Chairman. Please resume your seat, Emeka Please. I will take my seat, seat, Mr. Chairman. Please. Uh, but the point has been made. Thank you, Mr. Please Chairman. Please resume your seat. Are there any specific issues or questions relating to the results presented by the Requara apart from these general issues? Okay. Um, Scope, Quara, and the REC, please present your report. What is presented? We 
cannot continue connection. Not allow it. At least the connection officer must tell us that what is presenting is in consonance with what was uploaded. If that is not done, then there's an infraction of the electoral act, and we will not allow it. And we cannot continue with connection. Coalition Secretariat, um, any more? Thank you, Rick Quara. If a coalition officer will not come up and tell us that what is uploaded is you, you don't want to show us, you don't want him to tell us, one of the two must happen. We are Nigerians, we will defend our rights. This election, we will serve with, with our blood, we will make sure that writing is done. If there is difficulty in uploading it, there is no difficulty in the but um, uh, are telling us that what is uploaded is what is presented. And if that is a lie, you will meet in, will meet in the court of law. Okay, thank you very much. Um, next state. No, we cannot have another state, sir. We cannot no, have another state. You are now we being... Cannot. We cannot, we cannot, sir. You are now being disruptive. I am not you disrupting. The Electoral no. Act says that what you is uploaded you is not You are now being uploaded. disruptive. You can bundle me out, but the no. writing must be done. I'm, I'm a party agent. You are, that now, is what, that is what the you are now being disruptive of the I process. Not, I am not being disruptive. I'm asking okay. what is uploaded. Is Next, um, score please. After the presentation, then we'll come back to the issues you've raised. Yeah, Let's take the next step. We are saying that let him declare that what is uploaded what is what he's going to present. At least let him make that, let him make that, make that statement. Okay. Um, score Kwana. Uh, sorry, Oshun and Derek. Please make Quara, your presentation. Quara, Quara, Thank you. Sorry, Quara. Quara has done his own. Was you say? Yes, sir. Yeah, please go ahead, Oshun. Mr. Thank you. My name is Dr. Mutiu Olaleke Agoke. I am the resident electoral commissioner, INEC Oshun State. My scope is here. My name is Professor Fola Shade Ogushola. The Vice Chancellor Agent of, of the, the PDP, of please Asia. resume your seat. You are now, you are now deliberately disruptive. I'm defending, I'm defending my votes. Okay. And, and I'm allowed by law to do that. Rick Quara, please make your prayer. Uh, sorry, Oshun, Oshun, introduce yourself and let the...